Hey everybody, how you doing today? Good to see each and every one of you and welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Great to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, today's a little bit different video than normal videos. Today I'm doing a video for Trevor54, who's one of my viewers, and he wanted to know if there were any laser discs that were music. Yes, there were lots of music laser discs. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Appreciate it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you can tell I'm feeling better, can't you now? Yeah, in a crazy, crazy mood. Yes, definitely. Laser discs were really big. Um, but before all of that begins, let's back up a little bit and we'll talk about VHS tapes. VHS tapes were huge throughout the late, late 70s, 79 and 80s, VHS was pretty much the way to go. But, but before VHS came about, we did have beta. So beta and VHS were kind of in competition with each, with each other. And then kind of a little bit earlier in the 80s, we got Laserdisc. And then Laserdisc was supposed to be a lot better quality and a lot better uh, material. And, and at that time, they were mostly all movies. Um, were laser discs. So VHS had a competition with all of that, but the big issue with laser disc was um, you couldn't record on them like you could with VHS. You couldn't record on them. These were all made out of tape. And as I'll show on my laser discs now, we'll go through some of these. These I don't have many on music, but the mu the movies were the biggest thing. The movies were a big deal back then, and they were very very expensive back then as well. Uh, movies would cost you like a hundred and thirty dollars in between there, hundred and fifteen and a hundred and thirty, whereas was about the going price for like a Star Wars or Indiana Jones, some of the bigger movies. Um, and Laserdisc really didn't have too many music ones. And then they kind of tapped in a little bit to the market and music and realized that maybe there was a market there. Uh, but Laserdisc were about the same size as vinyl records, uh, size-wise. But the cardboard was a little bit thicker on these than they were. But let's let's get started, and I'll show, show all of you uh, some of the ones that I've got. Like I said, I don't have many, but... Um, what I do have, uh, maybe you'll enjoy and kind of get an understanding a little bit more about Laserdisc. So the first one I've got is Paul McCartney, Give My Regards to Broad Street. And this is the movie on Laserdisc. Kind of gives you a rundown there of the whole film itself. Um, and I got this from a store that was going out of business at the time. So mine, when I bought this, was, was many years later after Broad Street came out. So I got it for a very good price. Um, the great thing about laser discs were, this is what they looked like. And then when you played a laser disc, you played side one. And then when the movie was over, it'd say end of side one, and then you'd have to get up and go flip it over. And then you'd play side two. Um, and the neat thing was you can handle these. Unlike CD and records and all that kind of stuff, it really didn't matter if you handled these. These were a lot more durable. I know you guys are freaking out going, Beetle Brad, you've got oils on your fingers and you're going to break them down and it ruins them. These are very, very thick. They don't wobble like records and so when you touch these these really don't have any effect on the quality or breaking them down or anything like that these these were very made to last very durable strong looking laser discs and laser discs for the first time ever laser discs came out in Dolby digital sound which back then that was extremely high tech to have digital Dolby um, I'll put this back a little bit better later. <laughs> so it was kind of a big deal to have something like that that was that good a quality and that terrific. Uh, the next one was Paul McCartney's Liverpool Oratorio. This was his classical that he did. Um, and this is still in the original shrink wrap, as you can see. 
Um, and actually, this is quite good. The laser disc is really pretty fantastic. Uh, this has a gatefold. I'm not going to open it for you because the gatefold, I'd, I'd be breaking the plastic and tearing that apart. And I don't, I don't want to do that. But I'll just show you just real quickly. All pretty much all laser discs are the same. They've all, they're all got that that shiny glass look to them, mirrored look. Um, and these were pretty much the the beginning days of before. Uh, before DVD even came about, we had these. So this was kind of an early forerunner uh, before DVD and Blu-ray. I know a lot of you can't believe it, and it's kind of hard to think that, you know, it's still around. And there's a few collectors who still have a few of them and still keep them. Um, the quality of them are, are good. It's better than VHS, like I was showing you, because you got that tape with VHS, and the tapes had tendency to break, and the beta, the tapes broke just as well. Um, with these, with the laser discs, these were actually really durable, and they really didn't break. You really can't scratch them, unlike CDs, where you can kind of run your hands over them on, you know, with all of that. You have to gouge these pretty good before they do scratch. You know, like you can scratch a CD and a DVD pretty well. These won't scratch that much. Um, they'll still play. The Elvis 68 Comeback Special, there's a lot of stuff on 68 right now. So uh, this is a really cool copy of the Elvis 68 Comeback Special. I'll show you the back there. Um, these really never had anything different as opposed to the movie. I'm going to show you the, this. This was... Uh, kind of a neat one to have I was happy to find a friend of mine found this for me and I appreciate him finding it for me because I was really glad to get it 68 comeback special uh, but these were never really had anything special you know, like with DVDs you've got extra footage and you've got outtakes and you've got the trailer and you've got commentary and stuff like that these never had that laser discs basically had the movie or the music video and then that was it um, once in a while you would get a movie one that did have a trailer on it and that was a big deal real big deal to, to get one of these that had a trailer but a lot of them never had trailers and if they did that was kind of a kind of a rare thing um, and this is uh, my next one which is Elvis uh, that's the way it is isn't it oh no Aloha from Hawaii excuse me I, I'm totally wrong Aloha from Hawaii um, and this is in its original shrink wrap, which is still kind of cool to have it in the original shrink. There's the backing on that. There's the disc. I know your next question, you're sitting here watching these and you're gonna you're getting ready to ask me, so you don't need to type it because I know you're getting ready to ask. <laughs> your question is, do you still have your Laserdisc player? Yes, I still do have a Laserdisc player. Um, it's hooked up to the TV and all that kind of stuff. I don't watch it that much anymore. It's, it's kind of, eh, it's kind of obsolete in lots of ways to where you have to get a, you know, laser disc out and all that kind of stuff. But it was, it is fun to watch them and it is fun to see the difference in these laser discs. Uh, this next one is Jailhouse Rock. And this is really cool because this is actually a very good copy in black and white. I know black and white's black and white, but this for some reason is just a little higher quality black and white than your normal black and white. <laughs> so it's a different black and white than the other black and white. Did you follow all that? I didn't think so. Neither did I. <laughs> it's just black and white, okay? Get off my back. <laughs> Jailhouse Rock is pretty cool. All right, and then one of the big things that was great about Laserdisc was they would come up with music videos. And MTV at that time was a really pretty new. So Laserdisc was trying to compete a little bit with um, MTV. And so this, this next Laserdisc is The Police. And these were music videos, and they put out uh, concerts and all kinds of other stuff. And this was kind of kind of cool to get as well. So I you know, was glad to get that one. That's, that's pretty neat. Um, the quality of this is nice. It's, it's okay. You know, it's, you know, the advertised laser disc and, you know, 
digital and Adobe and you know all those were big new big words at the time you know back then that was that was expensive and high tech um, these music ones like I was telling you uh, movie laser discs were around 120 130 and through there pretty much for the movies um, but a lot of the ones like this one were very pricey and hard to get these were like $95 and we're talking about in the 80s, that's still a lot of money to be putting out for a movie or a DVD, well, DVD, excuse me, or a laser disc of music. You know, we're so used to saying DVD that, you know, you don't think of laser discs anymore. Like I said, it's just got that mirror image. But it's got all these stickers on here talking about, you know, the the Dolby and the stereo. And stereo was, was huge back then because VHS took a lot longer for them to become uh, stereo than laser disc players. They never made a laser disc recorder. I think that was one of the things that kind of hurt laser disc was there weren't any recorders. But I think if you ended up buying a recorder, it would have been frightfully expensive because the players were well over a thousand dollars back in the eighties. Um, so they just, you know, you're talking about a lot of money for what you get compared to what you're, what you're buying today with, with DVD and Blu-ray. Um, this next one is Japan from Japan and this is John and Yoko, uh, kind of story. This is really pretty cool. This is actually quite rare. Um, far as I know, this has never come out on DVD Maybe somebody could tell me if it has or not. But I, I don't think this came out on uh, DVD. Now, you know, then again, there might be a Japanese copy of it out there. That sure could, could well be. But I've, I've transferred this over. And here's like the inner paper. But, you know, they also came out with, uh, you know, just Beatle-wise. There was Magical Mystery Tour on DVD and Let It Be. I, I recently was on an auction and almost won a Laserdisc copy of Let It Be, which would, would have been kind of fun. I've got Let It Be on DVD, but, I don't know, kind of having the Laserdisc. I mean, there was the BG Sgt. Pepper and there was Yellow Submarine and Complete Beatles and first visit you know there were a lot of different ones ready steady go with the british invasion um there were a lot of different really really good laser discs out there that were pretty pretty darn cool that they manufactured and made now there's this next one okay this is time bandits it's a movie stay with me i'm going somewhere with this <laughs> you're saying beetle brad you're showing music now you're showing uh time bandits which was a great great movie uh, George Harrison put the music for this of uh, Time Bandits, which is an interesting movie. It's actually pretty pretty good. It's really kind of zany, that's for sure. But this is the laser disc of the movie with with George Harrison. So that's kind of why it's in my music stuff because George is a part of it. Um, it's not a gatefold. Nothing nothing different about this. You know, it's got the regular mirror discs like i showed once again you know they, they're all mirrored like i said they're every one of them uh, that, that i've seen I, I don't think i've ever seen one that's not mirrored um then my next one is the beatles a hardy day's night really cool the neat thing about this one is it is still sealed so i have not opened this and i kind of feel like well you know i've been along on this game long enough so why open it because I've got the DVD and I've got the other stuff so why change this out and open it there's really no reason to this is kind of kind of fun to keep it sealed these won't warp because they're so thick and they're so heavy and durable that I mean I'm sitting there waving it and I, I feel no movement at all with the disc so these really won't warp these really won't age and weathering and all that because I've, I've had these for like i said since the 80s so they really are very durable and i think that was the big issue that they had when they put these out was it was going to be for the longevity of 
movies and, and music and all that kind of stuff. It was kind of big, big deal. This next one is a really cool when the Beatles anthology box set came out. This is still in my original plastic. It's got the sticker as well. Um, let me open this up. This is eight, eight uh, DVD. See, see, I, I'm so used to saying DVD, I said it again. <laughs> eight laser discs that are all on this. So each each one of these, which which you have to flip them flip them over. So if you watch one side, you got to get up and flip them over. So this is this is a lot of work. Well, having a box set like this because you got to get up and you got to get up and flip it over. And this is this is quite heavy. So this was not something you just basically decide to watch here's the paperwork on this um, also for those of you who watch uh, Marv I know Marv has got some laser discs and I know Marv has got this as well he's got a great channel you need to check him out um, but yeah this this is he's got this as well so I know he's probably watching going oh I got that <laughs> So Marv's, Marv's got a terrific channel. I'm just going to set that aside, put that away later. But this was great. This was kind of a big deal. And this was this was well, well over $200 when this came out. So this was a big deal. I mean, if I remember, this was like, I don't know, somewhere along the lines of $275, something like that. Which we're talking about 95 is when the anthology came out. Is that right? So this was really towards the very end of Laserdisc, but there were still a few of them floating around. Um, hard to believe. I kind of wish Laserdisc were still around today, but you know, since we've got DVD, they're much, much smaller, and you can, you can store those a whole lot better than you can these, because these, like I showed you, they're the regular size of a record, the regular size of an album jacket, and they're also the regular size the regular size of a jacket sometimes you can get confused thinking it's a record when it's a laser disc so the jacket's the same size and the uh disc itself inside is the same size as a record so that can kind of mess you up as well so but they're really great kind of cool i hope you enjoyed my little video like i said there are a lot of different ones made um i've got tons of movies there was a store going on a business, and I picked up a bunch of laser discs for like three and four dollars. Well, you saw some of the Beatles ones I got for three and four. Um, and that's just really, really cheap. <laughs> that's for sure. But I also want to tell you that um, this is my number 300th video. So this one is number 300, and that's exciting. Yeah, see, put you all to sleep as we're talking about number 300 video <laughs> kind of exciting fun but yeah number 300 <laughs> but yeah i want to thank you guys because you're the ones that watch my videos and i appreciate it and you have enjoyed my videos you've commented um you've commented down below which you can comment about this one subscribe to my channel if you haven't um, I'm feeling a lot better today. Kind of things are doing well. I've uh, kind of backed off on my chemo medicine for a little bit. And chemo and all that for right now because I had a, a bad, bad allergic action to it. And so we're just kind of letting my body heal for now. But uh, things are going well and all that kind of good stuff. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was a lot of fun for you to kind of see something different instead of vinyl. We got to watch laser discs today, so it was kind of an educational show, wasn't it now? <laughs> All right, vinyl community. So glad to see you. So appreciate you, each and every one of you, and welcome to my new viewers. Thank you guys uh, for subscribing and being a part of my channel. And for my older subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are family to me. Um, you really are. So I appreciate you guys being here and I appreciate you commenting and, uh, we're getting ready for Christmas. Here we go. Getting ready for the season. That's for sure. So excitement and fun and a thrill and all that kind of stuff. But we definitely want to keep the real reason of Christmas in perspective. That's for sure. So, but anyway, Alrighty, everybody, appreciate each and every one of you. And as I say on my channel, I am out of here. 
Take care, everybody. Great to see you. Take care.